How to resize an image in Canva without cropping it. Hey everyone, it's Maria from Estatino Media and on this channel we show you how to create profitable content. Okay, so we're starting off here with a basic square and we'll pick an image just from one of the stock images that Canva has. So we'll go over here to elements, search elements, you know, we'll pick nature, go to photos and we'll go, let's go with this mountain view here. So you can see that this is a rectangle that I'm trying to fit into a square. Now I can easily expand this to fit into the square. However, you'll see that I'm losing most of my image if I do that. So we'll put it back to size here. If I were to save it like this, you would see all the white at the bottom or all the extra space that's in it. So what we would do is click on the top here where it says position and at the bottom here, width and height, it actually shows you the exact ratios of this image. So it's 2000 pixels by 1332.5 pixels. Now, there is a way to resize this if you have Canva Pro, and there is a way to resize this if you have the free version of Canva. I'll be showing you both. Okay, and so now with these measurements, what we're gonna do is we're going to go up to resize here. If you've got Canva Pro, we'll go custom size, and we will change this from 2000 by 2000 to 2000 1,332. Now it's not gonna allow me to do a 0.5 here. If I were to actually hit resize, it would give me an error. So you can see that happened there at the bottom. Dimensions must be in whole numbers for pixels. So you can round up, you can round down, doesn't really matter. We'll pick 1,333 and we will resize this design. Resize the design. And now you can see that I can expand the image and you can see the whole thing when you save it. Now, the way to do this if you're a free user is you would go up to File, Create a New Design, Custom Size, and now here is where you're gonna set up the measurements that you want for that image. That's why you wanna write down the dimensions and keep them handy because you're gonna be inputting them here. So you put 2000 by 1333, create a new design, and now I've got a new design here with the dimensions that I want. So we can go back and grab that photo. It's going to be saved here at your recently used images. Pop that in. And there you go. So there's a way to do it with Canva Pro. The free way is just a few extra clicks, but you can still get the job done pretty easily. And if you've enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments below or by hitting the thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.